And that, my friends, is what we call a wall of death. What you just witnessed was a little video clip from Greenlight District Festival 2007 in Denmark, which basically was the birth of Sanctuary Denmark. Back then I thought that my band Barricades was the only Christian middle band or Christians who played brutal music in Denmark at that time, but man, was I wrong, <laughs> thank God. Uh, and at the end of this video I'm gonna list actually 20 bands from Denmark who are Christians and play uh, all kind of uh, uh, brutal, hard music genres. Uh, but Pastor Bobby came to Denmark to visit me and uh, I thought he'd bless me so much at all the festivals around Europe that I would do a little event and have people come meet him and be encouraged. Uh, and within three months suddenly I realized that there were so many people and even bands out there in Denmark who who had the same burn in the heart as I did. So within three months we had a festival with 240 people, bands from uh, Denmark and Norway and Sweden, Pastor Bob came over, we had the national news <laughs> displaying the festival and it was, it was it's a crazy time, good time, amazing. And the reason why I share uh, this story and go back, why, why I bring up 10 years ago is because it's not just that things happened back then, but these are the good old days, quote Pastor Bob Beeman. Uh, there's a lot of things happening around Denmark and I'm so proud of calling um, Unseen Faith, Ascendant, Captain Roslin, my friends and my Sanctuary Denmark family. They are going strong in Denmark and people are getting coming together, building relationships and strengthening the brotherhood uh, and sharing uh, the love of Christ in the scene, developing relationships not just Christians and Christians, but that too, building each other up and and also just spreading the love. And the last 10 years, uh, but mainly when people started accepting that uh, that music is music, kind of, uh, on the scenes, uh, a lot of promoters, uh, they, they would love to, they wanted to book uh, the Christian metalheads, our bands, because of several reasons, because we were super positive and we had a most energetic stage performance, got the crowd going and helped cleaning up afterwards and made sure that the backstage was looking good and didn't didn't get angry and complain about, or maybe complain, but uh, you know, respectfully didn't get angry about uh, things not working and make sure to after the concert go thank the the sound guy even though he may not have done the greatest job but you know that kind of things really makes an impact on people and uh, which makes me think about the verse that uh, uh, that they should know shall know they will know that uh, we are his disciples Christ says if we show love toward one another and so, are you a disciple, or are you just uh, somebody who's labeled yourself a Christian, or do you let uh, Christ impact your life for the better, for people around you? First of all, I need to devote myself and my relationship to Christ, but out of that, just let the love flow, and um, yeah, and of course it goes deeper than, than that. But uh, the love is what people people will know us by our love, and then be open for the gospel of Jesus Christ. That he uh, he died for our sins. He's the way to the Father, the only way, and he has uh, heaven awaiting for us. But there's a there's a life before death too <laughs> here on earth. So let let us uh, strengthen one another, um, and. To go back to the very first uh, festival, Greenland District Festival 2007, uh, out in the middle of nowhere in a village on a, on a Christian boarding school where um, a lot of people were kind of skeptic. <laughs> uh, so many uh, black dressed, uh, strange teenagers coming together listening to uh, a lot of noise and 
yeah, very loud music, head banging, going crazy. <laughs> We also got known for the friendliest mosh pits, the friendliest wall of deaths, where people would, uh, would just be aware of each other. Uh, and it was, uh, it was kind of like, you know, a different way of hawking and getting together and uh, moshing. But at this, uh, this school, uh, it, was, it was great to hear afterwards that, that the teachers and principal were so surprised uh, afterwards, positively, <laughs> that the school looked even better than when they've rented it out to just regular Christian, good Christian teen e events or Christian summer camps and stuff. But we cleaned up after ourselves, and we even whenever there was a there was a couple of the the teachers who uh, we invited everybody to come check it out, but who came up to the school, and there were so many metalheads who came over and just were thanked, uh, yeah, the the generation above us for coming to see what we are up to and uh, just genuine love, uh, which makes me just proud, proud to be a part of uh, the metal family, uh, the Christian metal family. And I would say we we are not just positive people, and we are not just Christian labeled people, but Christians who. Who, uh, who people notice not because of our label, but but because of uh, how we behave, how we treat each other and people around us. So uh, I wish you the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ to be with you today, and make sure you go back and check in. Last time I was in Denmark. I live in the United States now, in the state of Illinois, with my wife and son. The last time I visited Denmark. Uh, I did uh, three interviews with three friends, so make sure you check those out to see and hear uh, some of the stuff going on in Denmark right now, and, and you can be inspired by that no matter where in the world you live. One of them is called Two Middleheads Talk About Serving, uh, another deacon who's a middlehead in Denmark, one of my friends. The other one is called um, Copenhagen Review, about the hell-themed Middle Festival in Copenhagen and how uh, some of my Christian brothers, middleheads, are serving on that festival. And the last one, Middle as Worship, question mark, question mark. All right, peace be with you. See you later. One last thing, if you are a Christian playing in a metal band or a band uh, with other Christians, take advantage of it. Please take advantage of it. Because uh, that's a special kind of uh, fellowship and brotherhood that, uh, yeah, it's hard to find other places being a band. So uh, make sure you pray together, seek the Lord together, uh, and uh, share your life together, your needs. So, uh, to me, that has made the world difference, uh, being a middlehead and following Christ. Peace.